Okay, we're working on a reach-in Coke cooler. Okay, I go there and I put my gauges on and I got head pressure but the suction's going into a negative pressure and it's no gas returning on the suction line. Well, you got head pressure so there's some gas in there but it's it's returning into a negative pressure on your suction and what could be happening here is that um, basically either capillary tubes clogged okay which is just a it's a copper tubing with a small hole in it or you got filter line you got a uh, filter line dryer in there okay and here we go this is a liquid line filter dryer okay and let's say this is in the system and it's got an arrow pointing telling you which way the flow of the gas is going now how do you determine if it is your capillary tube that's clogged up or could clog up just as well as a capillary tube so what you do is you take your thermometer and you take a temperature reading on this side and then you take your thermometer and you take a reading on the other side of your filter dryer and if it is clogged up you're going to get a higher temperature on this side because it's the liquid gas is actually getting to this side but yet it's not getting to this side because it's clogged in between so this side will be cooler than this side so that's how you determine if your filter dryer is clogged up now we've taken a temperature on this side and we've taken a temperature on this side and it isn't our filter dryer the filter dryer is fine it's not clogged it's our capillary tube so now we're working with the capillary tube so now how do we determine how to replace a capillary tube well first of all you take the old one off the unit you measure how long it is then you take this device right here and you mic out the inside of the capillary tube and you find out what size the capillary tube is so basically we're gonna try this one up oh, it fits but it's a little loose next one fits I think that's it so it's a point zero three six that's the inside diameter of this capillary tube now we've determined what the inside diameter is we now take the old capillary tube measure how long it is and we roll this out and say 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 the old capillary tube is about two feet long then at, at two feet we would take this uh, uh, file and we'd file it like this until we got it part ways in the reason you want to take this file and you want to file it is because if you take a pair of cutters it'll crimp the hole shut okay so you gotta take a file and you gotta work around it until you get it to break loose okay evenly on each side until you get it cut off you gotta go around it and then once you get it broke loose Take your your 3.6036 and you shove it in there and make sure that it's not clogged up. It's not clogged up, see? It went straight in. So if you cut it with a pair of cutters or you crimp it, it's gonna crimp the hole shut and then it's useless. Now it has a hole in it, it has a hole in this end now we can replace the capillary tube now let's say another service tech came in and they took this capillary tube off they collected the money and it disappeared and they never come back well now what do you do you don't even have a capillary tube to replace so what you do is you march yourself right on down to Ari Michaels they sell you a 036 capillary tube well how do you know it's going to be a 0 0.36 capillary tube because you don't have one to, met, to mic out well here's how you do it they got a little chart inside of the capillary tube it tells you what horsepower and and what gas type you're using what the diameter should be and how long the capillary should be so how do you determine that you take the number off the compressor you get yourself a little copeland handbook you open it up you find the top of the number on the compressor it'll tell you what horsepower 
the compressor is. Then you go inside the cooler, you open it up, you look on the plate and you see what kind of gas you're using. Now you know what horsepower you have and what gas type you're using. So you go back to Ari Michaels, you look on that chart and it tells you exactly which capillary tube to buy and how long to cut it to put it on the unit. It's that simple. So now you know how to properly size, fit, and if it's missing the capillary tube, and you also know now what other restrictions can be in the system, like your filter dryer, and how to determine if your filter dryer is clogged or not. And that's how you do a capillary tube.